Michael here and Sagittarius. We're going to look uh, ahead for you in terms of energy uh, starting January 23rd and in January 29th, 2023. Sagittarius, I hope all is well. And this week I'm using the Cosmic Tarot to deliver your messages. Uh, just giving you a heads up here. This is a deck that's full of nudity. So if any of the nude cards uh, offend you, I apologize in advance. Also, there are three lovers here. Um, heterosexual, uh, same-sex loving females, same-sex loving males. Any of the two, any of the three that you get is always double or triple the energy. Uh, so yeah, let's begin here, Sagittarius, to see what's uh, potentially coming up for you. I'm not reading any uh, reversals. All right, so this is for Sagittarius. All right, so we're going to open up the energy for you this week with the first card, Sagittarius, and we begin with the Chariot, Major Arcana. Do pay attention to all the Major Arcanas that uh, enter your spread because they do carry a lot of weight. So several messages coming through here. Number one, something that you're either moving towards that's uh, positive or something positive is moving towards you. Some of you could be traveling this week, whether it's work-related, you know, vacationing, if you are, could be business-related. Say passage to, say passage from. Some of you may be uh, interested in purchasing a new car this week. Also, some of you may be having to deal with car repairs, major or minor. I equate the star, I mean, I'm sorry, this, the chariot with that of the star card, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming uh, fulfilled and manifested. So there could be, for some of you, uh, you know, a need to do a lot of, you know, networking, social networking, whatever it is. That usually comes uh, and falls underneath the uh, chariot. So still very positive card. Uh, and following that, just don't be the Sagittarius that gets behind the wheel of a vehicle and disregard the speeding limit because I always pick up moving violations with the chariot. All right. So following that here, we have the nine of swords. Now you're like the third or fourth sign that's received the nine of swords energy. Nine of swords is the type of energy where... Um, it's a very distressful card, okay? So you're, somebody is could be in distress. Um, you know, it follows the movement card, the chariot. So it could be that uh, someone is having, um, you know, serious mechanical problems with their car. Anyway, you're overthinking about a situation, person, or event. Um, highly anxious. Definitely uh, overly concerned, could be, you know, overly nervous, could be on prescription medication for anxiety and depression. Uh, I oftentimes, you know, pick up the energy of uh, having a connection to someone who is incarcerated. Why? I don't know, but I just throw it out there because I pick it up. Anyway, seeking some sort of relief that, you know, may um, be the result of some sort of unresolved inner conflict from your recent or distant past. It could be external conflict from your recent or distant past as well. Uh, having to, you know, reach for that uh, energy of relief in terms of drinking too much, smoking, you know, it could be smoking weed, you know, just because you're feeling stressed out. Excuse me. But the typical things, you know, related to this uh, nine of swords is feeling like you're betrayed. Someone betrays you or someone has lied to you enormously. Someone has cheated on you. Now, the cheating doesn't necessarily always have to result in affairs. You could be cheated out of something from your family member or a friend or a romantic partner. So that's where the cheating could come in. But I think when I say that, people always think that, you know, it's involving some sort of affair that their mate or someone has, you know, been cheating on them. No. <clears throat> you could be cheated through all kinds of means and not just through um, romantic relationships. But anyway, uh, try to bring up to the surface to deal with the energies of that nine of swords. You don't want to carry that energy around too long, Sagittarius. It's not good because it's already a card of, you know, uh, mental challenges and you don't want to keep dealing with mental challenges. Everybody is, you know, 
everybody deals with mental challenges, but you know, they work on the energies as soon. Most of the time people uh, work on the energies as soon as they realize that something's going on. All right. Either it's on a personal level affecting you or the mental energies is coming upon you uh, and challenging you because it may be affecting someone else that you may be close to. All right. Following that nine of swords here now, we have the Prince of Cups. The Page of Cups is the pregnancy news, the childbirth, the job offer, new relationships that could be formed, platonic, romantic, and also business. Can't rule that out. Following that, we have the Seven of Wands. I'm not doing reversals. Any decisions that you need to make regarding if it is, um, you know, connected to the Nine of Swords, you stand your ground here. Uh, Sagittarius, don't succumb to your own energies or you end up with a regret if you succumb to the energies of the external. Family members, friends, romantic partners, you're still going to end up with a regret. Follow through with whatever it is that you are um, trying to execute this week in terms of actions and decisions. Seven of Wands, following that, now we have the Ten of Wands, so you're going to be uh, somewhat busy, extremely busy for others, doing things for self, could be work-related matters, uh, doing stuff for family members, romantic partners, you'll just have the energy to take care of all that you need to take care of, whether it's scheduled, planned, or if the energies crop up along the way. Following the Ten of Wands, now we have the Hierophant, Major Arcanus, it's underneath that chariot, someone could be getting married here. Um, it's an aspect of teaching and learning. So I could be talking to educators. I could be talking to students who are Sagittarians, uh, on the job training always comes to me with the higher font. Somewhat important is that you're spiritually watched over, spiritually protected, and also can be spiritually guided. When a higher font does uh, present itself, it's the energy that could result in experiencing some sort of uh, spiritual epiphanies this week. Some of you may be delving into your spirituality or, you know, finding out more about spirituality work. Major Arcana, the higher font. Up next after that, we have the Five of Wands, temporary energy issues. And look at that, it's underneath the Nine of Swords. So yeah, it could be that, you know, someone wants to start a fight, pick an argument with you. It's not worth your time, as I always say. Don't add fuel to the fire. It's something that's going on with them, Sagittarius, and they got nothing to do with you. So don't follow their lead. And if it's not the energy of someone coming across to you in terms of starting a fight or an argument, then some of you may just be feeling a little bit of, um, you know, inner restlessness, and that too shall pass. It may even be having, uh, it may even have to connect with the Nine of Swords energy, the Five of Wands, when it comes to that inner restlessness. Next up is the Ace of Discs, infinite amount of money. This too is the um, job offer. Could be starting a business, investment, wanting to seek more, um, not only financial stability, but it could be, you know, stability in other areas as well. Ace of Discs, the options are endless in terms of what you um, could do. Then we have the strength card. So the strength card here is um, all about you being courageous, ferocious, uh, having the strength. It's a card that represents sexual energy for me, passion, um, definitely sexual expression. But whatever energies that come up for you during the week, uh, again, if it's connected to you know, the nine of swords, even the five of uh, wands, you'll have the strength to overcome that. Okay. Cause you're feeling strong. You're feeling uh, powerful. And you have your uh, brother sign here supporting you, Leo. It's all about courage. Not just power, courage. All right, last card here for you is the four of discs. So the four of discs could be a small pay raise. Um, it could be, you know, you're building or, you know, trying to save uh, for something greater. So I see that, but I still regard the four of discs as, you know, my insecure card. So you're either withholding uh, love and affection towards someone or someone may be withholding love and affection towards you. In the shadow energy here, we have the Six of Cups. Somebody's thinking of you from their past. And then we have the Two of Wands, waiting for something or someone to arrive. And then the final card is the Page of Discs. So something's going on here with Sagittarius and their work and their money, which is good. 
because you um you got the princess of disc which is the page of this you got the ace of disc okay and then you have the four of disc so it could be anything related to uh you know like pay raises it could be you know jobs promotions I usually get the stronger energy from promotions from the um, night nights on up, not necessarily anything lower, but it still could be something that happens. Birth of a business, just like the Ace of uh, Disc. Starting to say, wanting to, to invest. Then we have the Two of Wands. You're waiting for something or someone to arrive. Now, um, we do have a chariot, so whatever it is, that chariot is going to boost this energy. If it's a relationship, then that you see some progression with that. If it's something that uh, involves some sort of project that you may have been working on, that too is going to um, see its way through some sort of progress. Six of Cups here is going down memory lane, thinking of somebody of your past, but somebody here is thinking of you that you were once connected to, your family, romantic partners, and friends, okay? Also, too, for the Sagittarius, this week may be... Um, you know, particular for those who have lost people who are connected to them, the dates 23rd to the 29th could be involving anyone's um, birth date or um, passing date. Just paying honor and paying respect to those who um, are no longer here. All right, so this is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Not too bad. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you giving this video a thumbs up. Uh, just, you know, take what's necessary, Sagittarius, leave the rest alone, as I always say. Um, have a great week ahead. Keep smiling for me, and I will talk to you soon.